it's Dr. Natalie Bosnovsky, and today I wanted to talk about endometriosis and um, hormone imbalances that happen with endometriosis. So endometriosis is an estrogen dependent condition. That means that in order for those um, endometrial cells that find themselves outside of the uterus, um, for them to develop and progress and proliferate, they're dependent on circulating estrogen. Um, so in women with endometriosis, we need to worry about our hormone levels because any excess estrogen is going to have a greater proliferative effect on those, um, on those cells that we have uh, throughout the body. And in women with endometriosis, we already know that some of us tend to make a lot of estrogen. Some of us have problems metabolizing and eliminating estrogen. And some of us um, are subject to greater effects of estrogen on those cells. So, you know, that can of course contribute to the progression and worsening of this condition. In addition to that, we also have some things that are going on with progesterone. So estrogen and progesterone being our two main female hormones, we really want to keep those two in balance. Um, but in women with endometriosis, we tend to have um, lower levels of progesterone, or we can also have something called progesterone resistance, which means those cells are um, less responsive to progesterone. So what happens when we put those two together is we have this kind of net imbalance between estrogen and progesterone. And in in order to um, you know, limit the expression of some of the symptoms that tend to go alongside um, endometriosis or to uh, help to stop um, the progression and slow the, that growth of those cells, we want to close the gap between those two hormones and create more hormonal harmony. So there's lots of ways we can do that. You know, Anything from diet to um, different types of nutrients or herbs or the way we care for our bodies, there's lots of strategies that we can use um, depending on the woman and depending on on our case and depending on why those hormones might be out of balance, um, we can create a really personalized treatment plan that will help um, your body specifically. But one great tool is something called bioidentical progesterone. So that's essentially um, supplementing your body with a hormone that is bioidentical to the progesterone that's made within your own body. So it ends up, you know, replacing some of that deficiency, closing that gap between those two hormones, and providing a lot of symptom relief, um, potentially slowing the growth of endometriosis. Um, you know, if you are a woman in her mid 30s or older, maybe even younger than that, you know, our progesterone levels start to decline around that age and we really need progesterone also to sustain a healthy pregnancy so if you are a woman with endometriosis and you're around that age group you also probably want to be conscious of those levels um, if you're trying to get pregnant um, because we're going to want to support that so that we know you're going to carry that pregnancy to term or you know it's one of the reasons one of the ways we can support your body so um, bioidentical progesterone um, is a great tool, a great therapy. It can be used as needed, uh, but it needs to be prescribed by um, a doctor or a naturopathic doctor with prescribing rights in Ontario. So um, if you're interested in this therapy, I would invite you to you know, book a call with me. I do complimentary women's health audits so that I can answer any questions that you have, and we can talk about if this therapy might be um, a good strategy for you in your case. Okay, um, so feel free to shoot me a message and thanks for listening.